Well, hey everybody, it's Friday, so that means I'm gonna shave with some stuff that maybe I haven't shaved with yet. And today, I'm gonna to do a little bit of both. <laughs> what? I don't know, what was the first thing? Um, so, today, well, first of all, I gotta tell you, my whole bathroom stinks. And uh, not in the usual way that bathrooms stink, but because of the shaving soap I'm going to use today. Um, it's something I've heard about for years, and people rave about it and how great it is and you gotta try it, and I finally ordered some, and I finally got some, and I tried it out once already, so it's open now in, in my bathroom, and it's stinking up the joint, I gotta admit it. And it's Arco! Arco Shave Stick with the man from the 1950s smiling away. Look at him. This is, this, the packaging, I love the packaging on this thing. I love that mid-century modern kind of font that they used. But this stuff stinks. I got it. It smells like citronella. It smells like a caustic kind of soap and a citronella mix. You know the citronella candles to keep the mosquitoes away? There are no mosquitoes around this face today because this stuff, I don't like the scent of it. And it does fill up the bathroom with the scent. So it's a good shaving soap. And I'll show you in a minute how to use it and how well it works. I just don't like the scent. Put a different scent in it and I'll be so happy. But along with that, I'm going to use my West Coast shaving brush, the synthetic. And I felt so bad using, oh, let me get it. The, uh, the 1920s shaving kit, you know, the one with the new improved razor. Well, before I bought that kit, I was able to buy just the little tiny one, the kind of the cheap one, the, the poor man's new improved. That was only $5 back then. And I only got to use it once and I, f I felt kind of bad for the little guy. He got purchased from somebody and, and he thought he was gonna get to be put back into service and I only did it one time. So it's time to use the new improved. This one's from 1928. The other one was 1921. This one's 1928, but the exact same design. Everything, a little, little tiny case. So I'm gonna shave with that. And remember that fat boy that I showed you? That was bent. I actually sent it off and it's at the Razor Emporium right now and they should be fixing it and cleaning it up. Hopefully I'll get it back by the end of next week and I'll be able to shave with it and show you how good of a job they did in repairing it and cleaning it. Uh, along with that razor that I purchased, I was given some vintage Gillette blue blades and there's about eight of them left in here. You, originally there were 10 and I actually took them all out and I cleaned this up because it was a little bit grungy. It had been sitting around. Uh, the blades in here were made in 1964, I believe. So, um, they aren't corroded, they aren't rusted. Uh, so I'm gonna use one of these with the 1928 New Improved. Uh, I've never used a vintage uh, blue blade from Gillette, so that'll be cool. And so the Arco, the New Improved, and the Vintage Blue. I took a shower, did my hair, got some water up on my, my beard, which is good because I didn't shave yesterday. I didn't take a shower yesterday either. I'm really, I feel really grungy. I know how you feel, old grungy fat boy. I know how you feel. So it feels good to be clean, and I want to shave clean. So let's let's uh, put the old vintage blade into this. I still love this design where you unscrew the bottom and then the cap comes off. I think that's a great design. It's good and solid. And this is a pretty good razor. This razor has been used. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's been well used, unlike the 1921 in the fancy presentation box which doesn't seem to have ever been used. So to get the uh, the blades out of here, you just put your thumb on the top blade there and you push up. Now, I took them all out and put them all back in so they're kinda coming out two at a time. So I'm just gonna separate them and uh, there we go. So this is what a vintage Gillette blue blade looks like. It's got that dark blue steel with a little bit of blue writing on it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna put it on here. Like I said, I've never used one of these. So a 1964 razor blade and a 1928 razor and a 1970 guy. That's me. Whoa! <laughs> almost, almost cut my finger off. All right. Less joking, more paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that the blade is straight on both sides. Uh, the blade seems clean. There's a little, couple little spots. I don't know if they're rough spots, but very tiny spots on the blade itself on the edge. So hopefully, I won't get tetanus. I just hope I don't nick myself. Luckily, these are fairly mild razor blades, so I should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna put some more water on my face, and I'm gonna show you how to use the Stinky Arco Shave Stick. It's the Stinky Stick. 
You can use that if you want Arco. Arco, this is made in Turkey. It, it actually ordered on eBay. It was like $3.50 and it flew all the way over from Turkey. And boy, are it's airplane tired. Um, yeah, so what you do is with this stick uh, is you just rub it on your face and it gets the whiskers grab a hold of some of it. And so you can kind of see for all the people that watch my... Uh, my channel and say, I don't see anything on your face. What are you even shaving? Well, look, the Arco is revealing what I shave. See that? That's because there's whiskers on my face. That's what I'm shaving. If I rub this on my forehead, uh, not only would it use up the entire stick because I have an enormous forehead, but it wouldn't do this. It wouldn't grab the soap. So that's about what you do. It's weird. It's kind of strange. You know, I've watched some videos of guys using this, so I knew how to use it, but I'd never done it. So what you do then is you got the soap up on your face, you get your brush, you wet it. Don't make it too soaking, soaking, you know, sopping wet. And let me get a little bit more. And then you just start face lathering. Oh, that fantastic Arco smell that we all love. And this is the tragedy about this. No, it's not tragedy, but you know what I mean. This stuff is so crazy slick and it leaves, I, I shaved it one time already just to see. I couldn't wait when I, when I got it. I think I got it on Tuesday. And it leaves such a like kind of moisturizing effect afterward. You can still feel it. And it, it's such a rich, thick, it's a tallow-based soap. So from what I understand, tallow-based soaps are usually pretty good at creating a thick, rich lather. And that's what this thing does. It's just the scent is not good. I wish it was like a lemon scent or a citrus of some sort or, you know, bay rum, something. But anyway, so look at that. That's a great, you know, that's a great little lather. It's not super thick. It's not runny. It's not wet, but it's very slick. Why am I doing this again? I don't know. And then you, you don't, you can put the stick away. You're done with the stick because now you got enough soap in your brush. All right, let's start shaving. Get wet down here. Let's see how the uh, vintage Gillette Blue Blades work. Like I said, I've got two days growth, but this is a mild-ish razor, so it's not aggressive. Hopefully I won't get uh, any nicks, because I will have to get tetanus shots. Do they still give tetanus shots in your stomach? Like when I was a kid, that was the myth, or that was the, the thing that all of us kids knew for a fact that if you uh, got tetanus, you had to get shots in your stomach and that was why it was so terribly, don't wanna, I'm feeling some tugging. I don't know if it's the blade or what. It's making me a little nervous. I, this may be, the blade may not be sharp enough even though it's, you know, new old stock. It Those couple little bits of, uh, Corrosion on this on the end maybe may have dulled it So what I may do is switch this thing out For a feather blade in fact, I think I'm going to it's actually because I never get Tugging at all when I use safety razors and I'm feeling it and I've used this razor before so I know it's not the razor So the one thing that the new thing that's been introduced is the blade So I'm gonna take that thing out because I think maybe just maybe it was those little bits of corrosion. Okay, I'm gonna put another blade in. I was gonna stop the, oh look, I'm done, done with that. Put the old ones in there, in the bottom. Get the old feather out. Even with two or three days beard growth, I shouldn't have any tugging with my uh, safety razors. Put the old blade on. I know this is unprecedented. Why, he's never stopped in the middle of a shave before and changed blades, there must be something wrong. Are you okay, Billy? My name's not Billy, by the way. <laughs> okay, let me make sure it's even on both sides. There's a little bit of play, and so you gotta hold it by the ends gently. Make sure it's even, and then you tighten that sucker down. There we go. All right. Let's go back. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, it was the blade. So unfortunately, I think I'll just have to keep those blades for display purposes, because it's a cool little case. I love this thing. Gillette. That's really neat. And then you can put the, the used blades in the back of that, so that's cool. 
Yeah, that's what it was, is that blade. Well, good, I'm glad I stopped. And I'm glad you kept watching, if you kept watching. You probably just turned it off in disgust. How dare he? But yeah, I was kind of feeling bad for this little razor, because it's a good razor, the, the one or two times I shaved with it. Before I got the fancy, rich cousins who came to town in their presentation box. And the little country mouse was relegated to the drawer. Well, he's back out again. He's the newer model. Well, the more recent model. Seven years younger than the other one. But man, this, this Arco, I guess, I know it's been around a long time and I guess maybe they haven't ever changed their formulation. And for those of you who are big, big fans of it, does the scent bother you? I mean, do you, do you like it? Do you care? Does it, because to me, scent is a huge, huge aspect of shaving. I like to shave with things that I like the smell of. I mean, it's kind of common sense, I guess, but, but check this out. Look how much soap is still in this. You could probably do three passes, maybe four. I mean, hopefully you don't have to do four, but, uh, yeah, so the, you don't have to use the stick anymore because first of all, it wouldn't, there's no whiskers really left to spread it on, but there's still plenty there in the brush. All right, pass number two. Going against the green. Yeah, so this, the only thing I saw kind of wrong with this razor was that one of the end teeth was slightly bent in. I think it's this one right here, but it's so, so it's such a minor thing, I don't even bother with it, you know. But uh, yeah, so I sent off the fat boy that was all bent up, and I got a lot of good comments. People saying, oh, that's just the fat boy slant. That's just the, uh, you should shave with it. That's, that's a feature, that's not a bug. The old fat boy slant. There were several people that made that comment. I thought that was pretty funny. Congratulations to all you commenters. Clever. I got a clever audience and I like that. That's good. All right. But yeah, so I sent it off. I got an email saying they'd received it. And I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, it, how well they, they fix it. I'm, I'm excited. There were some people that were commenting saying that I should contact the seller and get my money back, but I only paid like $32 for that thing. So I figured, you know, another $39 to get it like super clean. It's gonna be a nice opportunity to see how it looks all cleaned up and buffed and fixed and lubricated and everything else. Because I know there's lots of people that want me to send off my old fat boy, old grun grandpa grungy to the Razor Emporium to get it like plated in rhodium or something. That's a little out of my price range. That costs like $160 to do that. That'd be cool, but I think, as I said in, in response to comments, I think it would lose its mojo somehow. It'd be like kind of like, you know, taking a vintage guitar, like from the 50s, and just stripping it down because it had, you know, dings and blemishes and paint coming off of it. I like all the grungy, gross green on here. Old grungy grandpa grungy, there he is. And I do wash this off, I do, people, cannot understand <laughs> or don't believe me when I say I do scrub it. It is not a bacteria farm. It just looks, it's a, it's a patina. It's a patina, folks. It's like the Statue of Liberty. You know how she was brightly copper colored back when she, they first delivered her to the United States? And then she slowly turned like a beautiful green patina because she was clad in copper. I feel that same way about my old grandpa Grungy. He's just gained a nice patina. He's got some age. All right. See, still plenty left of that Arco. Oh. The stinky stick. All right, third pass. I'm gonna go up against the grain. Still very slick. It is a very slick soap. So if you can, it's a cheap soap, right? So even if you don't like the scent, you don't have to worry too much if you don't want to use it. But um, I just, I can't pull the trigger on it. I mean, I guess I already did. 
And I can recommend it because everybody's different as far as what they like. I mean, look at all the different colognes in the world. There's some that are absolutely atrocious to my, in my opinion, but people love them, you know? Maybe, maybe the same thing can be said for this. And just about anything. Same thing for food. You guys have a food you don't like? I, unfortunately, I like almost any food. But uh, there are some I just do not like, like red bell peppers. I cannot stand red bell peppers. I cannot. I, I've tried. That and beets. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried to be an adult. I've tried not to just stick my tongue out at it. I've tried them. I really have. But I just don't like them. So everybody's different. Everybody's different. I think we're all connected in some cosmic way. <laughs> I don't know. I must have spent too much time in California on that trip. Oh man, we're all connected. But uh, we're all different and that's what makes it so interesting. If we were all the same, how boring would that be? Yeah, opposites attract and all that. Okay, let me see, what do I got here? What do I got going on? Where do I have some? This is not a great razor, it's a good razor. And actually I'm I'm still willing to sell this razor to anybody that wants to buy it for what I paid for it. I think I paid 35 bucks for it. So if you want to buy this razor, call now. Wait, there's more. I'll, s I'll throw in a free Osage rub bottle. I won't, I don't have an extra one. But I could send you a sample of mine from my bottle. Or I can make you some Osage hammer. How about that? Let's sweeten the deal. If you purchase this razor off of me, I'll send you my very own formulation Osage hammer. You don't have to buy it. I'm not really trying to sell it, but I'm just saying that I don't need it. And I don't want to just sit around and go to waste because it is a cool razor and it's a cool little box and it's a historical thing and it's beautiful. I love the design. And you can either pretend to be a Kennedy or pretend to be me. I don't know. Please don't pretend to be me. Saw some people cosplaying at, uh, at the last shaving convention going as me, uh, you know, walking around shirtless and then somehow out of nowhere there came a, a bottle of Osage rub and a, and a magic towel, but uh, it was embarrassing. Was, uh, people want me to sign Osage rub bottles. <laughs> I'm only joking, folks. I'm trying to make this entertaining. Oh, I'm sweating though, it's hot in here. What's going on, summertime? It's not even summertime yet. All right, there's... There's a little bit right there. I'm just gonna take that down. Because this Arco is so, leaves like such a cushion behind that I feel like you can do that without getting a uh, razor burn too bad. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Ugh. What did somebody comment in the last one? The third pass comes before the fall. So I don't wanna be too full of pride in my own shaving techniques and think I can do as many passes as I want. Oh. All right. I am going to use the Osage hammer today. I think that'll knock out the, uh, the smell of the Arco. And as much as it pains me, I think I'm going to have to get rid of the, of the Arco stick. I'm going to have to go put it out in the... Uh, can you put that in the compost pile? Probably. There goes the old Gillette. That's going to go in the garbage. Uh, it does have an insert blade here on the back of the original, but I'm going to just leave the originals in there. And uh, let's let's see how much Arco is left in the brush. That's a pretty good amount. You could do another uh, pass or two. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Just don't like the scent. That's all. But if they ever came out, come out with any, any, I mean, just literally any other, I don't use the word literally often, any other scent besides smiling 50s man scent than... Uh, then I'll be on board. Uh, and, and let me know if, if there, there is some. Like, I know that it also comes not in a stick, but in a tub. And maybe that smells different? I don't know. All right, Osage Hammer. We're running out. I need to make some more. Oh, gosh. Sometimes it gets pressurized. There we go. Got it. Oh, I got my My youngest son has been in here the past couple of days playing with my uh, shaving equipment and brushes and making what he calls a potion. Oh, ow, oh. I'm gonna stick my pinky in my nostril just to <laughs> cover up the smell of the, of the Arco. But anyway, he's been in here. I gave him the uh, that, that can of shaving gel 
and I let him just squirt it all out because I wasn't going to use it anymore. And I gave him a razor, bl uh, a razor to, to use without a razor blade and I gave him this brush and he just made a huge mess in here in the sink and it was so cute. I think I'll have him make a shaving video one of these days, maybe with the Popeye shaving kit. Would you like to see that? That little Popeye, that toy shaving set? He's wanted to play with it already. I got it in my closet. I've kind of got it set up in my little closet, but uh, I might let him crack that thing open and make his own shaving video. All right. Whew. The Osage Hammer, man. It's got my eyes watering. <sighs> well, is that all I had to say? I think so. It's been 20 minutes. That's kind of a long one. But I had a few things to talk about, I guess. And I'm glad that you joined me for this one. And uh, Arco, your great shaving cream. Enough said. I've said enough. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great weekend. My eyes are watering. I, I'm tearing up. I'm getting so emotional because I know I'm not going to see you guys till Monday. But hang in there, and I'll see you on Monday with some other load of nonsense, I'm sure. See you later.